it's super awesome. I am here with Allie because I just bought this lovely print of hers, which we'll see in the studio later. Allie, can you tell me a little bit about your work? What, how do you make it? What do you do it? Um, I work. I work in a whole bunch of different mediums, mostly digital or traditional, with markers or watercolors. Um, this one here was actually a marker piece that it's it spans two pages of my sketchbook. I had to do a little bit of editing to get the uh, the seam out of the middle of it afterwards in Photoshop, but uh, it's a character from a steampunk story that I'm working on, uh, just depicting, a, I guess, a stage in the process of building this character who has all these mechanical augmentations and trying to explore what those might look like if they were all deconstructed and spread out. Um, yeah, it's a lot of fun. I like playing with concepts like that. Are you local to KW or are you um, I'm local to Toronto. Oh, nice. Yeah. So it's just a pretty quick trip out here. Um, I, I'm friends with a lot of people at this event, so I wanted to show up and have fun hanging out with them. If I want to find out more about your art and where I can get it, where would I go? Um, you could go to any of my websites. I have a portfolio site at sevensmith.net. Um, I have a Tumblr account uh, where I post a lot of new work. And I have a webcomic, which is updated twice a week. Nice. I will, of course, put links to these in the show notes. You can find them there. All right, thank you very much, Ellie. I'm here with Ian, and I'm buying this gorgeous piece here because I love landscape shots, and that one has, and I love vaguely obscured shadow giant figures. Seriously, that's it. I just love it. I have like three things like that. Great. Okay. Well, what? this was like it was done for an art show uh, featuring the Green Man, which is like an old pagan symbol that shows up in Christianity, uh, Middle Eastern, and Chinese architecture. So it's really, and people kind of lost the what it means. So they had a show with 40 different people and everyone's own interpretation of the Green Man. Woo! So, wow. This is what I came up with, huh. and um, so far people have been pretty positive about it. So. Thank I'm you happy, very much. I'm happy to share. If I want to find more of your art, where can I where can I find that? Uh, I have a website on my business card, just right down there. All and, right. Uh, I will put that in the show notes. Yeah. And steal one of these. Usually, I'm the first thing that pops up on Google uh, if you type my name in. Otherwise, it's that English football player who's not very good. <laughs> so. All right. Thank you so much, Ian. No problem. I'm here with Kim, and I just bought this gorgeous landscape print, which is going to go next to my other one. Uh, <laughs> Kim, can you tell me a little bit about your art and why you do it? Sort of... Well, lean in close because it's the, they're talking really loudly over there. Yeah, they are. So I like to make really high finish fantasy landscapes and sci-fi art. I really like expansive worlds and pulp imagery. So, yeah, I really like world building and characters. And I do acrylic painting, sometimes oil, sometimes with colored pencil, and sometimes completely digital. Awesome, thank you. My hands are shaking like crazy, so this is going to be really weird. Okay. But uh, if I want to find more of your art, where can I find it? Oh, well, you can find it on my website at M-O-K-H-I-I -I at carbonmade.com or on Tumblr under Moki, which awesome. is I will also put that in the show notes. So. All right, thanks so much. Right, no problem.